welcome, I'm Tina and I'm going to do a uh, review of the Myths and Mermaids deck. Um, the artwork is Jasmine, Jasmine Beckett, Beckett Griffin and that's what attracted me to the cards initially. Um, the authors of this is Amber Logan, Akachina, Mick Aletto. Uh, tell you now if this has any difficulties in it with um, pronunciations. I apologise now, I'm not going to keep apologising, I have dyslexia and um, I have sometimes difficulty pronouncing, let me get myself a bit more comfortable, pronouncing words, so if, there you go, so this is the book, um, so you have the thread, so that one's got the wave, and that one's called the timeline. Um, and then we've got the decks. So in that we have um, a little poem, um, a little explanation about them. Then you have the divination um, message, and then you kind of have like a bit like the reverse. Um, so you can see it uh, in this one. So sorry. See all that. Uh, the cards are quite big to handle, so you could um, go that way. They are good stock and uh, shiny. That's the front. So let's see. Mermaid with a pink lotus. Mermaid with butterflies. Venus with a uh, jewel. La Savina. There we go. Archimelado Mermaid. Told you, can't pronounce it in that one. I'll leave it there so you can see. So the font is a little uh, difficult for me. Golden Mermaid. Mermaid picking a lotus blossom. Nautius Angel. Microism Sea Monsters. Tale of Massy Gold Green Mermaid Triplets Hamdreyad Lake Hamdreyad Lake Dreyad I'm trying to get that one in my uh, Dreyad Dreyad Some of them are on the side Alphine Mermaid Jeweled Octopus Triumph of Galenta Galenta right. Halcreon Theon Halcreon See that? So heard of it. So Water and elementals. Jellyfish portal. Flying fish. Trilo lights. Bite. Sorry, trilobites. I was thinking I know my son loves all that kind of stuff, so I know it's trilobites, not trilobites. The side. Manta Ray Mermaid. My tentacle friend. Tika Mermaid.
Haunty Mermaid. Autumn Mermaid. A Certain Slant of Light. Stardust Angel, very pretty. I like that one. Reaching for the Sunset. Mm. Mermaid with a golden dragon. Sea fell princess. Mermaid with floating flowers. Sea beasties. The blue whale. Big blue whale. My alien energies. Microism seascape. Mermaid with a baby alligator. Alchemy sea. Alchemy seas. Stranded. Shipwreck siren. Say that fast. Sea chariot. Tiger lily. Tiger nautius. Mermaid mother and child. Mermaid with a black sea serpent. And lastly, storm chaser. So. They are lovely cards, imagery, lovely, uh, they're very simple in, um, you know, the wording, so um, for a beginner, it might be a little more um, difficult if you weren't to study the book along with it. Um, I personally get a deck of cards, and I want to sense a feeling off them, I want to not be able to look at the book when I read them, um, but for this deck... Um, I think you would, um, for especially for a beginner, you might want to study um, the book and the meaning behind the cards. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't tend to do that. I tend to have my own sense of feeling. But I suppose that's good if you, if you're wanting to know what the author's intention was behind the imagery um, and what their intent was, um, that'd be great. Um, let's go. We've got the flying fish coming out. You can hear my dog shout and um, barking. The flying fish. It's an angel fish, isn't it? I think. It's lovely imagery. And um, it's kind of a contrast as well because you see behind him, you've got the tree behind him and um, like a landscape behind him of the outside. So he's in his own, he's in a bubble in his own tank there with his own self and so but he wants to fly high fly outside of his bubble into adventures into movements um and flying out of his own um way getting out of your own way is what i'm hearing get out your own way um let's see what i can, I can, I can hear spirit talking to me so they say yeah get out your own way you can fly high um, get out of your bubble outside of you, stand outside of your box and think outside. Fresh perspective is needed. You can't always go tackle a situation the same way if you, as you've done it before. Sometimes you've just got to be adaptable and, and be willing to change your, um, your views um, in order to move yourself forward and not get stuck. Here we go. Oh, mermaid and mother. So immediately I think of um, nurture and I'm also getting nature as well with this because um, as soon as I looked at the eyes and saw that they were they were green so I've got nature and nurture coming in, I've got that sense of well-being coming in and looking, making sure that you are looking after yourself, giving yourself that compassion, giving yourself that nurture. Um, I can hear them, you see they talk to me and I can feel it. So it's that sense of having um, pride as well, I can hear. 
pride in yourself like a mother's pride or a parent's pride, not just a mother, but you know, having pro, uh, being proud of where you are, where you achieve, look where you are, and say and celebrate it. Um, having that there, there is also the sense of children there. So maybe it's kind of feeling like you want a, a, a child to come into your life, or working with the children, or it's working with the inner child that needs you to maybe be able to work through your situations. The inner child needs connection for you. Um, that comes in there as well. We all need to um, embrace the inner child. It allows us to think of a new perspective. There you go. Think of fresh views with the inner child. Okay, I do really, I think I I stick to the same cards sometimes. I have my own set of cards which I do for my readings and then sometimes a new set will come in and then when I feel like it, when I've pulled towards it. So it's really nice set of cards lovely imagery and um yeah i do recommend okay i'll be back next week with another review